Once upon a midnight, in the planet land of X, a young boy being lay dreaming. And in the dream, X-Ray Ted, for that was the young boy's name, lay in the cold steel arms of his mother's household robot, Automaton. Ted heard his mother's voice sharp and angry. You never help me, Ted. You give me no peace. You will not clean your closet. So it's into the brink you go. Ted began to struggle. But Automaton's grip grew tighter. Closer and closer they came to the brink. Beyond to the edge, beyond the great boy. Ted's heart began to thunder. He shouted aloud for help. But too late. Automaton's grip had loosened. And Ted was hurled into the brink.
thing I remembered to bring along some music of my own. Right left. to new music, please. New music, huh? Good thing I remembered to bring along some music of my own. Where's that new music? Right here, sir. Brand new music. Red Hot. Yes, sir.
nine years since the mysterious disappearance of Commander David Bowman on the ill-fated journey of the spaceship Discovery to Jupiter. Many questions had remained unanswered. Why had Hal, the talking and thinking computer on board, malfunctioned, killing the other four crew members?
The hands of God. 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 The hands of God.
You have no tail, nor scales upon your hide, while your tailed attendant is hairy and speaks an unfamiliar tongue. Overshine, Snowblink. And suddenly, a light cluster appeared in the air, penetrating the shadows like a beacon. Ted looked up at the light, then around him in total amazement. There, on the edge of the stone well, sat a creature who looked like no girl he'd ever seen. She was dressed all in rainbows. Her skin was golden and actually seemed to glow from within. She tossed her chestnut hair and looked straight at Ted, her brows knitted in puzzlement. Is it an android you are, or are you a quasar? What's a quasar, if you please? asked Ted, not knowing if he was one or not, but thinking it certainly sounded lovely. The strange girl came close and put her ear against his chest. Hmm. No detectable android servo mechanism, but a distinct pulsation nonetheless. Is it your radio transmitter, then? She asked.